Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this song tutorial, we are going to learn how to play Money by Pink Floyd, an incredible song. Even though it doesn't have too much of the piano, it has maybe an electric Fender Rhodes kind of piano with a little bit of a wah and some drive going on. It's not a very piano friendly song uh, you would argue because it's very bass driven and a lot of effects very lot of guitars drums it's like a rock band song but we are going to tackle this on the piano and get something going and by the end of it all you're going to be like a one man band playing this song and i hope you can do like a cover of it and just do like piano and vocals because you're going to do the bass line in the left and you're going to do the chord pattern in the right hand and pretty much that's it you you don't need anything else you you can do a version on your own and that's the hope to be able to do a cover version of money so a few interesting things about the song before we get started it's a 7 by 4 song so it's not a very normal time signature piece of music it's not 1 2 3 4 1 however the time signature changes from 7 4 in the main riff 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 it changes to a 4 4 groove during the solos the saxophone solo and all the other uh improvised bits the guitar solo at the end is all on a 4 4 which goes pom 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 so that's pretty much the structure there's a 7 4 bit which is sung and there's a 4 4 bit which is all the improv parts the sax solo the guitar solo and there's a lot of the piano comping which i'm going to show you primarily in the right hand while the left hand is going to ditto or play exactly what the bass guitar player is playing in the song and if you're a guitar player or a bass player you can follow our bass instructional video of money where i break down both the parts the intro or the verse bit where you hear the money sound and uh, cash register noises from the bank i guess and you'll hear uh, him singing money a lot of times money there we go pom pom so that part i have taught on the bass i've even taught the the line on the bass for the solos but i'm also going to teach it on the piano in this video before we get cracking you may want to get your hands on the notation it's a very intricately done song so you need to know exactly where the hit points are the notation is available for you on patreon as a pdf download if you'd like to see how it all aligns visually you could get the midi files as well in the same link in the description it's just 5 bucks a month and for the 5 dollars you spend you're also going to get every other lesson i do all the supplementary material and there are other perks for members which you could also consider so do consider being a member on patreon and before we get cracking it would be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button turn on the bell icon for notifications and give us a like and leave us a comment if you like the lesson at the end of the video so let's get cracking first of all the scale the time signature i already told you is 7 4 the scale is b minor derived from the d major scale which has two sharps a lot of rock and blues songs end up being played on the minor scale so b minor is what this is and the entire chord sequence or the structure follows a very bluesy vibe you know it's almost like a 12 bar blues played on minor in 7 by 4 in a way which only pink floyd can so there is a blues vibe and a lot of the chords you play are seventh chords so just to give you an example of how i'm voicing it instead of playing b minor like this i would anyways be playing b minor in the bass right so i'd rather play it like this that will be the minor 7th the minor 3rd and the perfect fifth and we do a lot of these dorian comping patterns which i'll also share with you so stick around before we do anything let's first learn the bass line and at least the 
main baseline. So, you know, if you can just about do that, uh, I would be very happy for you, you know, because that itself is quite a challenge. It's on 7 4 and swung. So, that is going to be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So. If I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's one staccato in there, which to our advantage as piano players allows you to kind of jump and find that low F sharp. So I'm going B, B, F sharp, B, that's root, octave, fifth, root. Tum pa da dum and now staccato there. Pum pa ba ba. That's swung, or you can say triplet. One da da da. One two and three. One two and three. Four five six seven. That's how we get the seven four. One two three. Four five six seven. One two three. Four five six seven. One two three. Four five six seven. One two three. That's the riff. Bed mm, one two three. Four. Let's keep doing that together. See my fingering. I start with my pinky. That's the basic riff. And then I cross back, get the pinky back in shape. Da -da -dum. And you would want to do this in your left hand. Okay, so now when the verse starts, we do this. Money. Do that twice and da na 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 na. So you do that da na te do pum 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 pe do. You're pretty much just following the vocalist there. So two lines or two bars of seven four playing tang da da dum pum 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 verse. A second time now. Back to the so bar one, bar two, bar four, but bar three, just to kind of break that monotony. So it's sort of like an A, A, B, A. Uh, kind of poetic structure if you will so the right hand can do what we are hearing in the original song let me just break that down for you it's very easy I'm playing a B minor seventh in this voicing and it starts at the B2 one two three and one two three and hit point at two one two three and four Five, six, seven. Seven, you will be hitting again the B minor seven. So hit two, three, and and the third round, I I like to like just copy the melody, what I, or copy the bass line, what you're doing in the left hand. So. The main bars will be money. So one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. One, two, bam, 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 back, bam, bam, bam. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, the whole story again with the left hand, as you know, does. For bar one, two, and four, and bar three, both the left hand and the right hand play the same tune. Na 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 na. So let's do that together. Slow it down. Back riff. We repeat that twice. Money. Okay, 
and that's how many bars was this? Four into four, four into two rather. Eight bars are over and done with. So the right hand does that comping. It's like a B minor seventh going to an E major. So it gives you that Dorian vibe. But for piano players, it's just the same shape. See, you can literally close your eyes and just do it. It's just right there. So. Copy, both, band, back to both hands. Now, so just those two chords, what we could call as the turnaround, let's figure those out. So that's F sharp minus seventh going to E minus seventh. Very Pink Floyd S chords. They do a lot of minor seventh chords. Sometimes ninths, as you'll hear in Breathe and Hey You and all these other great classics of Pink Floyd. So for now, F sharp minor seventh, let's just see how we are voicing it in both our hands. The bass line does something really cool. So it goes la 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 pum pum re do do. So let's just do only the left hand and then incorporate the right hand. So the like we did earlier. So that's F sharp. Pum pa pum 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 pa ba pe pa rum te ra ru ru. So it's a very very elaborate seven four two bars of seven four, which is F sharp minor. Pam 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 be ra re pa rum. And then back to that So let's just do that uh, that whole only the bass line and then I'll teach you the chords F sharp now So for that F sharp you can either go low F sharp I kind of like that but in the original the bass player goes F sharp F sharp C F sharp pa 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 pam 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 pa da so it kind of extends the bar to almost an eight count phrase and then the next one pam pa ram te ra ro ro one a two three four five six so it's it's kind of interesting you could even notate it as an eight four followed by a six four i've just notated it as seven four plain and plain and simple but the phrase is tam pam pa rum pam pa seven eight one a two three four five six back Two, seven, pum, pum, six, seven. So it's seven, four, seven, four, seven, four for a while. Then it that turn round is really cool. Even vocally, he sings on those eights, uh, eight grouping and then the six grouping. So. Okay, let me walk you through the chords now. So for the F sharp part, you, the way I've designed it is la da pa 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 da. Don't hit it at every beat. You can just go na 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 ta dum pa da ta da di. And when you collide the E minor seventh, I'm voicing it like that. So na na pa dum pa. So before we go to E minor 7th, let's just do only the F sharp minor part, which is something like I'm voicing it as C sharp, F sharp and A. So the same bass line. And then at that E, I'm just dropping my F sharp minor to E minor 7 this is a great voicing without the E of course but the left hand's anyway is doing E so so la pa re pa let me show you that E minor thing let's only talk about the E minor for a bit so uh, uh, F sharp gets over now pa pa dum pa dum so 
from that da 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 you strike e e minor for a minimum or two beats la da dum ti da again one more time le pa dum collide so there's this lick Notated at the one, two, three, at the fourth beat. With with the bass going. Do you remember the context now? Okay, again. again again back ta da you could even hold the chords okay let's do the whole line again uh into two so we already did this that third bar unison with the vocals back repeat mane now unison now going to the f sharp turn around Let's do the turn round again really slow. And again remember the right hand tries to play only at the twos or every alternate hits of the bar. One more time super slow just that turn round. So that's pretty much the main hook or the main head of the song. Uh, however, I'd like to conclude or do the second, the other part of the song, if you will, which is another bluesy kind of a chord progression, which is the solo, the sax solo and the guitar solo. So it's really easy. You just go. Let me show you the left hand first. Pum 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 param pum 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 param. Did it. This is like eight times, and the right hand just play B minor seventh. Very chromatic. There we go. So eight bars of B that B minor, and the rhythm pattern I have for you in the right. or you can just keep it simple by doing just two b minors ni and two to burn back 1 2 3 1 2 3 and we could even do Wherever, really, just hit one on and one off in the right hand, and that should serve the purpose. In the notation, I have notated it as two, three, and two, 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 two. Can comp it like this, and then we go to that E minor part where he does la da di da 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 di da four times of that. So. 
just chromatic down you could use this fingering thumb middle thumb middle so right hand will go e minor 7th voiced in our usual b d g way and i like this ghost note just an extra b at the end of the bar four of that and then back to the original bass line which started off the groove so uh, just in a nutshell before we do the turn round we did eight rounds of keep going now going to that e chromatic with the ghost b in the right hand back to the b and now the turn let me show you the turn which is your right hand could just play f sharp minor 7th you know with all its notes and the bass goes da 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 pa ri ru again very chromatic de ru re ri so f sharp f sharp octave f e d but quite a quite tricky on the fingers because they're all close to each other pam pam pa so bring it down re ru 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 pa ru ru re tin tin f sharp f f e d f sharp ta ta da da first bar it's just quarter notes da da at the at the end of the bar you play at the end there da re ru re re that's the extra note d da da re ra ra ro pa pam pam pa second bar it's extra at the beginning ta ta da 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 so right hand with the i'm just holding the blocks of the chords again you don't have to hit it at the one always can hit it at the three just for flavor and now so let's break that down it's just b a g f sharp e d c sharp c b flat b so the bass and the treble just play in unison there and i've just added a harmony which i think you'll like la ra ri ra ra ri ri ra pa ra it's almost like a b minor scale going descending with that pa bum pa bum pa bum which they do very often da ra ri ra 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 ri ra don't go back to b go to the c pa ram so instead of going we do kind of retaining the vibe of the riff at the solo section so ending so it pretty much goes on with that entire riff and then the turn around and the end Now instead of just playing unisons you can add octaves in the left hand and you can harmonize the right hand so B over D A with C sharp these are thirds by the way G G with its B F sharp with its A E with its G D with its F sharp C sharp with its E but then the quick part just play that in unison so ending back to the 74 if very interesting song
Right, guys? So we've looked at each section of the incredible song Money by Pink Floyd. We are playing the bass line, exactly what the bass player is doing in our left hand. The right hand, we are looking at comping patterns with some nice chord voicings to embellish those seventh chords we hear in the song. Then sometimes we carbon copy the left hand with the right hand, especially when the vocal line kicks in. So we want to support that or beef that up more. And then at the end of the song, in the verse and in the solo section, there were some incredible turnarounds. So do check out the chapter markers. It may help you learn it in a lot more precise way. And do consider the notes, the notation uh, on our Patreon channel along with the MIDI files which might help you learn this a lot better. Right guys, again this is Jason Zach from Nathaniel. Do consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon for regular notifications and do give the video a like and leave us a comment if you'd like to learn something in the future. We also have a playlist available for you for all the song tutorials linked up in the description check that out and if you want to learn this song on the bass guitar there's another bass guitar lesson for money by pink floyd you'll find that also in the description so happy learning and i will catch you in the next one cheers